You guys, I have so many empties this month. I needed two bins. Two! Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today, I'm going to be doing a empties, products, reviews, products I've used up, would I repurchase sort of video. These are some of my absolute favorite videos to film and to watch because I feel like when someone uses a full product, you A, get their full, their full view on it, right? Because sometimes a product will be amazing at first and then it'll just like kind of suck or you think you love it, you don't, or you love it or you don't love it and then you end up loving it, whatever the case may be. Um, and you see what I actually use up and if I'm actually going to repurchase it or what I'm repurchasing instead. So I find these videos super helpful. If you like them, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And then I'm curious, what is a product that you used up this month that you went out and repurchased? Let me know in the comments down below. So let's dive in. No particular order, but I will have everything linked down below. Um, as always, I feel the need to say this. My opinions are my own. If you love something that I hate or if you hate something that I love, that is okay. But I'm always curious. Let me know in the comments down below why you did or did not like something. So let's dive in. Okay, let's start with this guy. I feel like I have a Naturium product in my empties every single month. Um, this is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. I'm going through this a lot quicker now because Scott has taken a loving to it. Um, and he was hesitant at first because he was like, does that like really clean me because it's like oil? He didn't like it at first and now he's obsessed with it. It's good. One of you all asked me, I don't know if there were, I don't remember if it was on this channel or on my other channel, if it smells like popcorn. And I guess I never thought about it like that. I don't think it's like a noticeable popcorn smell. I should note that I love popcorn, but I don't think it's anything where I'm like, no, it doesn't have a true like scent to it. So I love this. If you haven't tried this, I think you would definitely really like it. It is a very luxurious, hydrating body wash. I take body showers at least once a day because I'm done with the gym and I tend to take my like full showers where I like rinse off the entire day at night and then in the morning sometimes I like to just do a body shower if I've done like a sweaty workout or whatever. Um, so I like having this to kind of just cleanse my body but not strip it which is why I love this stuff. So I would repurchase it a million times over. I already have a new one in my shower. I'm never without Naturium. You can get it at Target now. So absolutely love it. All right. I don't know how I'm going to go about this. Just grab and throw. <laughs> this guy, I picked one of these up recently from my local Sephora. I don't know why I said it that way. I picked this up from Sephora recently. I love the Dr. Dart Ceramidin line. It's probably one of my all-time favorite lines um, for skincare in general. I love their toner. I love their cream and I love their sheet masks. If you suffer with just dry skin, maybe you're even oily, but you feel dehydrated and like not plump and just you need to try this line. This sheet mask is probably the one sheet mask that I notice. Okay. I like the snail mucin one's really good as well, but this one I continue to repurchase over and over again. They're pricey. I wish they sold them in like a kit. So it was like a little more affordable. I should probably look on their website and see, but they're like $9. So they're pricey. So I use them before, like if I'm, my skin is really going through it or I don't know, I just need an extra like pick me up treat. This is one of my favorite sheet masks of all time and it's good. It's got ceramides in it, which your skin already naturally has, and it just kind of makes your skin instantly, I see just like a plump, glowy, hydrated, bouncier look to my skin. And yeah, what more could you want? I love their cream. I use their cream all winter long, and I've currently reintroduced the toner back into my life because I feel like that makes a huge difference. It's not really like a toner though. It's more of like a light moisturizing moisturizer like it's truly not liquidy really at all it's like a I, I don't know it is liquidy but it's like a liquidy moisturizer versus a thick toner if that makes sense speaking of toner I finished up the Numbuzzin toner this is their super glowy essence this I consider more of an essence than a toner I love this stuff I have already have another one I'm back up in my drawer. I'm currently right now using the Kyung Peng Yule because I had opened that one before I got this one. So I will go back to using this one. I like this because I feel like it does the same as the Kyung Peng Yule. It's like very hydrating, but this instantly gives me a glow to my skin. So 
amazing hydrating benefits. If you haven't seen my whole video on them, I will link it up in the cards, but I love the Numbuzzin line. You're gonna see a lot of products in here from Numbuzzin because I like them. They're really good and they're really affordable and you can find them on Amazon. They're a Korean skincare line, so I can't read any of the Korean on the back, but it's good, it's good stuff. This guy, unfortunately, I just feel like the color changed on this. Um, and when I use it, it bubbles on my nails. I feel like sometimes when you use a nail polish too much, you can get like those little bubbles on your nails. So this is the SE Pure or Gel Couture. Why do I always want to call this Pure Couture? I have no idea. In the color Matter of Fiction, I already bought another one. I love the SE Gel Couture nail colors. They're some of my favorite nail polishes of all time so yes i already purchased another one i feel like this is a really good um like just kind of milky not milky yeah like a white milky pink and i really like it i just felt like the color changed a little bit on it but most importantly the formula changed so whenever i would paint my nails i would get those bubbles and that's just like not a good not a good look so i've had this for wow almost a year so I decided to pass on this or toss this and get a new one. This is the primer I've been using since I can't even tell you how long. I always repurchase this. This is the really big one, but I have a couple of like small travel size ones that I'm getting through. Honestly, I'm using less and less of this now. I feel like because I feel like I've gotten my skin just not as textured and not as like pores where this I really use it for is just pores and just slightly all over my face but I do notice a difference when I use a primer and I like it so this I will always repurchase for the end of time it's such a good product and you don't need a ton especially if you deal with pretty deep pores I think you would really like that this guy right here, this is the Isle of Paradise. This is their dark self tanning drops. I've kind of gone away from the drops. I don't know why. I just feel like I don't know if I don't mix it enough in my lotion before I go in and apply it, but it can almost look a little streaky on me. So I've gone back to either doing just like a spray, like I have a spray machine, or doing like a foaming pumping one. So it's just, it's not a bad product. I just prefer more of like a like tan that's already in a lotion for like a gradual boost versus mixing it in myself at this point. I don't know why. It's just kind of my opinion. So I love their like, um, where is it? This guy. If you can find this stuff, grab it. But their lotion, I prefer this that's already mixed in versus the drops. Personally, for me, going forward. So I don't think I will repurchase this. I don't mind the Tan Lux face drops for my face, but I don't really love this for my body anymore. And I also feel like it's $30, and you get quite a bit of usage, but I don't know if it's enough, honestly, for the price. So I think they raise their prices a lot, too. I remember that being like $20 back in the day. Whatever. Another Numbuzzin product, this is their goodbye blemish serum i loved this stuff so i feel like this really helped with not drying out my skin i feel like a lot of acne products can make your like problems even worse because i don't know about you guys but when my skin gets unbalanced in any sort of way i break out if it's too dry if it's too hydrated if it's too oily if it's whatever if it's too much of not its normal self then i break out so I love this stuff, but it also has niacinamide in it, and I want to say it has like vitamin C, so it helps brighten those dark spots that you may have already gotten from breakouts. So I like that this helps prevent new ones, but also helps treat the ones that I'm dealing with. So I was using this during the day, and clearly, I love it. I would repurchase this. I like this serum a lot. Currently, I'm using up a vitamin C that I have, um the Sunday Riley CEO, but I would, I would go back to this or I would go back to the, um, what am I, feel like, oh, well, I have another vitamin C. I have a ton of vitamin Cs to get through, but I would repurchase that one if you're looking for a good, affordable, kind of do it all, not just vitamin C, not just, um, like acne curing, like do it all, then that is amazing in my opinion. Um, this guy, I've been using this cuticle remover. I think my mom started buying this when we were in like, when I was in high school and I've always repurchased them. You don't need a lot of this. This whole, this thing will last you like probably a year or two, if not more. And I do my nails every so often, but probably at least once a week, if not twice. But this is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. It dissolves the cuticles. Like it makes them soft so you can push them back and clip them. But I feel like it makes them just easier to clip and it doesn't cause me any sort of like 
ingrown or not ingrown hang nails or anything like that affordable you just put a little bit on rub it in push back your cuticle and then I go ahead and go in with a buffing brush and then whatever is left I will clip if there's any but I don't go overboard with my clipping of my cuticles so I feel like this kind of dissolves some of that dead skin it's probably like an acid in it I don't know um yeah because it says wash afterwards so i'm assuming it's probably got some sort of acid that eats the dead skins i'm obsessed with it if you have not seen my full nail care routine i will throw it up in the cards because i go into detail about my nail care routine there um this guy i got this as a little like sample when i ordered the honeymoon glow this is the halo or the honey halo which i I want to say it used to be the halo glow whatever it's the honey halo by pharmacy i loved this stuff honestly i think i'm gonna look at the like ounce for like the price for ounce compared to the dr jart ceramide and don't get me wrong i'm still gonna purchase this but i would be curious to know what this like compares ounce per whatever cost um price per ounce I really liked this for a nighttime moisturizer. It was super soothing and it's antimicrobial because of the honey in it. So if I'm like breaking out, but also very dry and dehydrated, I would go for this. If you're just kind of like normal skin, I, then this is amazing. But I really liked this. I loved the scent of it, but it's a natural honey scent because it actually has honey in it. I like pharmacy a lot. So I would repurchase this guy. I haven't yet, but I would repurchase that more for the winter because it's more of like a thicker heavier cream this again same thing i i cut it open i get every last drop out of this this is not a cheap moisturizer but it is literally one of my favorite heavy super super hydrating creams especially for the winter um during the summer i don't use it as much because i feel like i have a little bit more of natural oils to my skin but this is great dr jart serum dr jart ceramide and cream my faves my faves i can't even tell you i wish sometimes i kept like all the ones that i've reused or like used up and like had like a collection but like i don't have the room for that what am i gonna do just keep a bin in my garage of like 70 bottles of ceramidin and naturium body wash and lotion whatever this again i always find these video these helpful when people include their like razors and stuff that they use up because if they're rebuying it means they like it if they're switching all the time they don't like it so the harry's razors i think they're great they're awesome in my opinion this guy i picked this up oh gosh i don't know i but i think i got it on sale during a sale i don't know it's the belief eye cream i really like this this is the moisturizing eye balm i've used this in the past this is probably my third one not in a row that i've used but my third one I unfortunately used to love the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream, but for me it just was causing a lot of like, it was breaking apart like in the container before I use it, and it just wasn't laying smooth under my eyes like it used to. I don't know if they reformulated or if my skin just no longer suits that formula. So I switched to this. I love this stuff. If you're looking for just a good hydrating eye cream, this is amazing. I feel like at the end of the day, you don't need an eye cream. By any means and if you want to really target something try going for more of a targeted eye cream this is just hydration truly just hydration um i really do like the way this wears under my makeup you don't need a lot just a little bit this lasted me for freaking ever i'm currently using one from biosance which is their like marine collagen one i believe or marine something i'm not sure i like that one as well this one's a little bit more thick and a little more like creamy to go underneath makeup so i do think i would repurchase this over the biosense but i'm not done with the biosense yet so i'm not going to make a full i've only been using it for about a week because i just ran out of this but this is an amazing eye cream and i really think belief has great products for a more affordable price they're not affordable like they're not like cheap okay they're more affordable than like some eye creams that are like 70 dollars. but they also don't claim to do as much so yeah this just includes is supposed to provide intense moisture which i completely agree and boost elasticity which again i agree so i love this stuff and i would definitely repurchase a rod and i have repurchased it i repurchased it three times this guy i actually refilled up i buy the large like containers of the keels um calendula deep cleansing facial cleanser well whatever the thing is okay i can't tell you how big of a difference this makes in my skin so it's full now but 
I stopped using this when I was moving here to Illinois last summer one year ago like today or not today like two weeks ago whatever I stopped using this and I was like what is going on with my skin da, da, da. it was going through stress it was going through a climate change but when I introduced this back into my life since finishing this bottle my acne has significantly cleared up something I can say is the smallest difference it doesn't matter what you put on your skin if you are not cleansing your skin if you're using SPF and if you are putting makeup on if you are not cleansing your skin even if you're not putting makeup on just dirt pollution whatever it makes the biggest difference like the biggest difference focus on where you get breakouts first of all second of all just make sure you are cleansing your skin and I thought I had really dry sensitive acne prone skin so I went to acne cleansers, horrible. Did the opposite to me. I went to gentle cleansers, weren't getting the makeup out of my pores, were making my acne worse. Then I went to acne, it was just like a battle. When all I needed was a deep foaming cleansing wash, it feels a little stripping at first, but I'm able to put products back on to get my skin to where it needs to be. But my biggest thing, the reason I get acne is because I don't properly cleanse my face. And I still know to this day, because I will get it here, and that's the most missed spot of my makeup removal process. So I cannot say enough good things about this. I'm obsessed. If you feel like you're breaking out and you're using acne cleansers or you're using gentle cleansers because you feel like your skin barrier is messed up, just try a foaming cleanser. Specifically try the calendula. I swear it's really good. When I worked for Sephora, this product would like be one of the first to go when people were like buying in bulk for the rouge sale and I didn't understand why until I used it and I really remember like I had acne all the way through like my adulthood um until like right before I was leaving Sephora I bought a bottle of this and then I bought one more and it was like the big bottle so I had it all through my pregnancy and I had it even after my pregnancy for a year and then the minute I stopped using it is the minute I started breaking out again so call it a coincidence I don't know but I will never stop using that product and I know a lot of people are like a cleanser is a cleanser not for me girl not for me I wish not for me though okay this guy this is the IGK first class dry shampoo I used to love this stuff like I was a stan of IGK I used to have their the first class and then I would have the green one they have three they have a pink one a green one and a gray one I can't think of what the the other one is this is their like most intense detoxifying right I would switch between this and the green I swore by them my absolute favorites when I worked for Sephora I did not use any other dry shampoo except for this unfortunately and I bought a small one and I was like oh I love this again fortunately I really don't this I would say is less of a dry shampoo and more of a texture if you put this in your hair to absorb oil it will do that but you won't be able to put your hands through your hair like it's like and I don't like that feeling because I feel as though that causes breakage for me because I'm a I mean if you can't tell I've already touched my hair a billion times in this video and I know the comments are rolling in like girl stop touching your hair I wish I could but I can't so I won't but um this it works it's super oil absorbing it's super texturizing but don't expect to put your hands through your hair it's not like a clean hair feeling if that makes sense I don't hate it but I don't like it for what I wanted it for like it works and I really enjoy the smell it just Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I would rather use a dry shampoo and a texture spray. This guy. I just mentioned this in my favorites. Did I? Yeah, my last favorites. This is the TheraBreath um, mouthwash. I already bought another one. I love this. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I should talk about dry shampoos that I do love, though. The Living Proof, um, the Triple Clean, Ulti Advanced Clean. Love that. I've repurchased it a million times. I'm about to be out of my current one. Um, but I did grab one from Target, so I haven't tried it yet. We'll see. Verdict's still out. But this, really good. Love this. Doesn't burn. It's a mouthwash that I enjoy using. I remember to use. It's cute. I already bought another one. I'm going to continue rebuying that. It's good. This guy. These are the Trace Minerals Magnesium Gummies. I liked these, but you know what? I enjoy a magnesium spray way more. I already take my vitamins at night. I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't do that because whatever. I already do. Okay. Um, because I take my allergy pill at night and I don't want to be drowsy. So 
I don't know, some other pills make me drowsy. Anyway, magnesium gummies. I prefer the magnesium spray. I have one from Aloe that I got and I love it. It's pricey, I know, but I have literally used, like I there's this much gone and I've had it for like two months. It's so good. I spray three sprays on me every night. It calms me down, it helps me sleep. I'm obsessed. These. I didn't notice as big of an effect as I do with the spray. So if you've tried magnesium in the gummy form or even in pill form and you feel like you're not seeing as good of results, try a spray. I feel like it just easily absorbs into the skin better. It just helps me sleep and relax. So I love it. Again, I could have probably a thousand of these. I think we go through one a month. Scott and my both are favorite. First shampoo, I don't think he does the second shampoo, but I do because I'm crazy. To get the product out, this is the Dove Dermacare Scalp, the coconut hydration, the best. I mean, if you watch any of my videos, you know I go through one every month. And yes, I already have none in my shower and I have three in my closet as backup. Deodorant, I actually am letting this go because I feel like, does anyone think like your deodorant stinks? How come your deodorant doesn't stink? Well, probably because most people put it on their clean deodorant, clean armpit. Sometimes if I smell, I reapply. <laughs> Why do I out myself like this? Um, so yeah, sometimes, well, recently I have been doing that. Um, and that's disgusting. So I was like, I need to stop using this because it's grossing me out. It's like, I feel like I need to clean my deodorant. That's supposed to make me smell. It's good. It doesn't, it's not the black, like you. Like it's supposed to be the black test, black whatever, like you could put a black shirt on. No, you can't. Girl, no. Is there a deodorant that actually exists that you can't see the white marks? Because no, but it comes off easy. So it's not a deal breaker for me. The purple, bold, unique mask. I think three, four, five of these I've gone through. I don't know. I already have another one. I have another one in my closet. And I have another one in my shower. They had this on the Amazon Prime sale. So good. If you have blonde hair and you feel like it gets really orange so fast, mine does use this the funny thing is I went to just go get my hair like cut um probably like a month ago and get my roots touched up just like a little bit and he was like girl did you just have your hair toned and I was like no and he's like I'm like oh I just used my purple mask because I really wasn't planning to go get it done but I was just like spur of the moment like I want my hair cut shorter and so I had just applied this and he was like your hair is like toned already I'm afraid to put a toner on it because I don't want it to like get even like more toned this stuff works. It's really, really good. I'm obsessed. It's a deep conditioning purple mask. Um, I like it better than any purple product that I've tried, which leads me to this guy. This is the Kristen S, the purple shampoo. I've had this for longer than I care to admit because I never really enjoyed using it. The, the smell of it is amazing. I love the smell of it. It's like kind of like a masculine, whatever. I just felt like it didn't cleanse my hair. So I never really reached for it a ton because like it doesn't do anything. So I'd have to do my one step, my two step cleanse and then I'd have to use this. And so I was just like, mm, it's too much. So I like shampooing my hair regular, getting rid of the gunk, right? Then like cleansing it again and then going in with like a purple mask or something like that. So I'm hydrating and doing it versus this was just like a third shampoo and it was a lot, so. Mm, I don't think I would repurchase that. I did just pick up another purple shampoo because I want to try a purple shampoo again and I picked up the John Frieda. I just haven't used it yet because I have that and I was using my purple mask so much. I am so mad that I stopped using this. It is disgustingly dirty. Um, I want to look at the price per ounce on this guy as well compared to the Polish Choice. Um, BHA, whatever thing is. This is the liquid exfol exfoliate. If you are familiar with Kate Somerville, you know I've had this literally forever. Um, but they still sell it. If you're familiar with the exfol or Kate Somerville, she's like notoriously known for her exfoliate, which is like a flash facial, whatever. She's like has spots. She's very well known. But um, <clears throat> her thing is a physical plus a chemical exfoliator, the exfoliate. This is the liquid form of it. So literally no abrasive scrubs. So good. You can use this the same way. I like that it has a pump versus the Polish Choice, which you dump. Um, <clears throat> leaves my skin feeling very much the same way. I just had shoved this to the back of my bathroom and not seen it in forever. And I pulled it back out. So good. This is, has a triple acid resurfacing um, treatment. So you can either like put it on a cotton round, which I had done because I feel like it gives me a super gentle like physical exfoliation, but the chemical exfoliating part of that is 
so good. I remember when I did work at Sephora, a lot of girls before they would do like a, um, like a full makeup look for a girl. Like if, she, I don't know, if she was going to prom or whatever, they would use that as prep. So good. Um, <clears throat> second month of using these guys. I already have another bottle of them and I'm currently using them. The JS Health Hair and Libido. I'm also using their detox pills as well, but I don't use those regularly. So I feel like the verdict's still out on them. I've only ever taken them at night when I get too, like I ate too much from dinner if we went out or whatever. And I always fall asleep before I notice if it's helped my bloating. I don't wake up bloated, so I guess it works. But these are the hair and libido pills. They're good. They're really good. Um, I don't have a code, but I use, um, what's her name? Why can I not think of her name? Krista Horton. That's who I use. But so many people have JS Health. Um vitamin codes but I like their vitamins a lot I've heard good things about their magnesium as well but like I said I've been liking the Sprite this guy keeps my teeth white 3d white so good um benefit the professional makeup setting spray I, again I've gone through so many of these and I care to admit it's my favorite spray it helps just kind of mesh all my makeup together blurs pores and more importantly it helps it stay all day long so I already have another one of those and I have like five in here so we're good Oh, I need to go grab my backup of this. This is the Nabuzzin Deep Sleep Mask. It's not like a sleep mask as you would think, though. It's truly like a hydrating serum, but it's so nice. Okay, so I love my snail mucin and I love hyaluronic acid, but I feel like mine are like, they're like a gooey sort of product. And before using them, I mean, I could get rid of the hyaluronic acid at this point, but before using snail mucin, you want your face to be wet. This is like straight liquid. It's very liquidy. It's not like a mask. I don't know why they call it a deep sleep mask. I don't know, I didn't name it. So I will use this, I will put on an essence and a toner, and then I will typically go in with this guy before I go in. I know the essence and toner are wet. But anyway, I just love this. I feel like this provides just an instant plumpness to my skin. I say that a lot about a lot of products. I like plump skin, okay? But this is, dare I say my favorite product that I have from Numbuzzin? It's close. It's good. And when I talked about this, a lot of y'all were like, it's really good. And when I was linking it, it has so many good reviews on Amazon. It is just a really hydrating powerhouse serum that really can be applied day, night, anytime, and is such a thin consistency, but hydrating that it can be applied under anything and you can continue to stack products and it doesn't feel weighed down, which is what I love about Korean skincare is I feel like their products are so light, but absorbent that you can really stack them and go to town. So good. The number seven, number six. So, so good. My skincare. Uh, yeah, again, I think I've gone through like three or four of these. The Cosrx Advanced Snail Mucin Essence. It's great. It's good. If you're not using it, you need to. If you're using it and you don't feel like you're like seeing amazing results, first of all, it's not like something that's going to like cure your skin or like bring you to life or give you a new face it's not doing that i feel like some people are like oh i don't notice that big of a difference well it's gonna hydrate your skin okay if you don't have dry skin you're probably not gonna notice that big of a difference second of all um it's just skincare like it's not going to change the, your face okay use it on wet skin though that's why i like using the numbuzzin deep sleep mask first and then going in with this pat it don't rub it you can rub it but it will get like foamy so just pat it so good okay this. This is, I already repurchased another one of these. I'm staring at it on my um, desk right now. This is the Norvell um, Venetian Handheld Tanning Spray Tan Solution. One hour rapid, or you can leave it on for like three hours. So one hour is a light tan, two hours is a medium tan, three hours is a dark tan. This is so good. This is so good. This bottle, I want to say, is like 20 bucks or something like that for eight ounces. I just put it in my like, um, which I think I, I don't know if I talked about this, Loving Tan. This is four ounces and this is $60. Wow. This is eight <laughs> ounces and this is like $30 maybe. Um, and I just put this in there. 
or put it in my spray machine. Spray machine. You, it's just straight liquid. So you want to either put it in a pump bottle. You can buy like generic pump bottles on Amazon, or you can just use whichever one you already have used up. Um, because I'm like I'm sick of paying sixty dollars for sunless tanner. Uh, or you can put it in a spray machine, which I love. But I love this stuff. It gives me a really good tan, and I feel like the tan. The biggest thing with me in tan is like it has to wear off naturally. Like I don't want to look crazy. Like I can't be looking crazy, okay? Like I have to have it wear off nicely. I think I did my tan on like Thursday of last week and it doesn't look crazy and patchy. And I even slept in it. So I love this stuff. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend. Super good, like I said, you can use it as a spray machine or you can just use it in a pump bottle. I'm like making sure I don't have it anywhere. <laughs> um, this guy, and this is the last product, y'all. This was the longest video ever. Would I repurchase this? If you watch my videos, yes, you know. I have had one of these in my shower um, on rotation since I was in college when these were like $4. Now they're like $10. I don't know, actually. But these are the Tree Hot um, Tropic Glow. I already have another one. It's a sugar scrub. So good for deeply exfoliating your skin. It's amazing. My favorite. I don't think you need to spend a bunch of money on an exfoliator. This is one of my favorites if I'm going to use a product. I like those exfoliating mitts too. I think they're amazing, but this is so good. It's cheap. It's affordable. It smells good. The Tropic Glow smells like the... I get corrected by this. You guys say that the Bum Bum Cream is the Bum Bum Cream. It's actually called Boom Boom Cream, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, it smells like that. And it's good. I will always have it on stock. You can get it at Target. You used to be only able to find it at Walmart. Um... But it's good. I don't recommend the lotion version of it because I don't like it. But the scrub, phenomenal. We made it, you guys. We did it. If y'all are still watching, shout out to you. But I want to know, what have you used up this month that you actually hated or loved? I need to know. Um, yeah, we should be reflecting when we use up a product. I'm sure we do, right? But I love these. I feel like they're very helpful. Mini reviews on every product. What I repurchase, what I not. What do I like instead? So on and so forth. Crash doesn't lie, you guys. If I use it up and I rebuy it, you guys see it every single month. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it helps me big time. If you guys give the video a thumbs up, it lets me know you want to continue seeing more of these videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for tuning in and watching this insanely long video. And I'll see you in my next one really soon. Bye.